Hello, I'm Christophe Conrad, a technical evangelist with Adobe. And today I'd like to show you an application built with Flex and running on different devices. The application is a, a trader desktop application helping you to manage your assets. So let me show you the application on the iPad first. So I'll start the application. And as you can see at the top left here, you have the summary of your assets and also different ways to visualize the data uh, using different types of charts. And you notice the nice uh, 3D animation here, uh, a, a simple rotate effect um, in the Flex framework. At the bottom, you can look at historical data. So basically, uh, the performance of your assets along a time axis here. So I can swipe, I can pinch and zoom to have different views of my data. And of course, I can uh, change the orientation of the device and look at my data in uh, landscape uh, mode here. The second view in the application is actually uh, helping me uh, with my uh, watch list. So I, there is a number of stocks that uh, I'm watching, and I want to watch these stocks in real time. So um, you see the, the updates coming through the application. Um, in real time, and this feature is implemented using uh, data services. The third view in the application is simply a list of alerts. So this view is, is really showing the integration with other applications on your device. So for instance, uh, one of the alerts is um, a piece of news related to a stock that I'm watching, so I may want to look at what's happening there. And you notice that at this point, it's starting the browser for that specific piece of news. I can read uh, the information and then go back uh, to my application. And then the last uh, feature in this application is, is actually my favorite feature. It is simulating um, real-time collaboration um, use case. So the use case here is that I may want to collaborate with a financial advisor. I'm about to trade some stock, but I want some professional advice. So I will choose my uh, front-facing camera, and this will connect me with my financial advisor. So here we go. Uh, this is going to be... Um, a video conference uh, uh, session uh, with, of course, voice over IP as well, but also uh, synchronization between the screens. So whatever I do uh, on my side will be synchronized in the financial advisor uh, application as well to make sure that we always look at the same uh, data, the same information. In fact, what I'd like to do now is to show you um, a simulation of that. So I will use a different device. So in this case, I will use uh, an iPod Touch. So I'm going to go in the same uh, section of the application and again start uh, the collaboration session there. So it's uh, connecting again. And here we go. So you see that the two cameras are uh, active now. And not only that, but um, when I will uh, start moving uh, the chart in the application, it should be uh, synchronized between, um, between the two devices. But of course, when you develop an application with Flex for uh, mobile devices, you can also run it uh, on Android devices. So in this case, I'm going to use my HTC Inspire phone. And as you can see, it's still the exact same application. I can uh, get to my watch list and, and get the real-time updates. But I can also participate in that uh, collaboration session. So I will uh, connect as well here. This is, as you can see, this is over 3G. I'm not even connected to a Wi-Fi network here. And here I am joining uh, the collaboration session. So in addition to um, iOS devices and uh, Android devices, you could run the exact same application on the BlackBerry Playbook. Now what I'd like to do is to quickly show you how you'd go about building applications like that in Flash Builder. So let me uh, open Flash Builder here. OK, so I'm in Flash Builder, and I will actually run the application in the emulator that comes with uh, Flash Builder. So let's uh, run the application. As you can see, you get the exact same uh, app. You can actually change the orientation as well. And you notice that in this case, I'm simulating an iPad. So it's a, a pretty large screen. I can show the two uh, charts uh, on the same screen. I can show uh, the uh, chart switcher here. 
um, and, and it's basically exactly what I showed you on the iPad. Now let me, let me actually simulate another device because a big uh, challenge as a developer is that you need to build an application that, that's going to run on very different uh, screen factors from the iPad to much uh, smaller screens uh, like this one. So uh, Flash Builder really helps you a lot with that. And you will see that here in my run configurations, I can actually select another platform like Android and then select a, um, an Android device. So for instance, I will choose the Google Nexus S and then uh, run the application. So even though it's the exact same code that I'm running, you will see that the application looks uh, somewhat different. So for instance, I don't have the real estate here uh, to display the chart. So you will notice that what used to be a two-way switcher has become a three-way switcher between the grid and the two charts. Now if I go landscape, you notice that I don't have enough free, uh, room here to display both uh, the grid and the historical data at the bottom. So what happened is that I have a tab metaphor here to switch uh, between the grid uh, and the historical data. And what's really interesting is that, as you noticed, I didn't change my code uh, to make that happen. I just uh, simulate another device, and that happens automatically. So, so Flex provides a lot of uh, help, if you want, to make sure that you can uh, run the same application on different screen factors and different uh, densities. So this is just one example of building an application and running it on multiple devices. You can learn a lot more about that by visiting the Adobe Developer Connection.